Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster, and as promised, uh, I figured we'd do a little bit of knife work on our two little cooksers today. Um, and basically, this is just going to be to refine these down, smooth off some of these tool marks, just generally get the shape where we want it to. Um, now, what I think I'll do, I'm going to bring the camera just a little bit closer in. We'll take a look at the knives I've got here, and I just wanted to give you a quick sort of run through of each and what I'm planning on using for, uh, or what I'm planning on using each one for, um, and why I prefer sort of one over the other. Right, so here are our knives. Um, and what I wanted to do is just very quickly run through these. So obviously we've got our bog standard Mora, great little carving knife. I use these all the time and they're really, really good for carving. Slightly more expensive version, uh, which is my Svante Dvage, um, which is just really a nicer, sort of better made, um, sort of slightly more bespoke version of the Mora. Um, and these two knives are very good for general purpose carving and I will be using these on, on these today. Um, but what I tend to do, especially for something fairly small like this, I actually prefer something like this, which is just my little Mora carving knife. Um, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Um, but these are really, really good. You can get really close up, you can get some really sort of fine detail and really good control with these. Um, and the one other thing I wanted to show you just before we cut to actually start doing some work is this. Um, now this is a farrier's knife, uh, sometimes known as a hoof knife. Um, and these are used for um, trimming horses' hooves. Um, but with a little bit of work on a stone and maybe a strop, you can get these really, really sharp and they're great for carving, especially when you're working on kind of curved surfaces like this. And because they've got a lovely big handle on there, you can really kind of get a good grip on it and almost use it a bit like a potato peeler. Um, and you know you can use it because it's slightly curved you can almost use it like a spoon knife um, and they are really really useful for not so much for hollowing out the inside of bowls though it can be done um, but I just wanted to sort of introduce you to this because I find them a really really useful tool and what I'm going to do I'm just going to move the camera around a little bit just so I can get a little bit better lighting on this um, and we'll make a start Right then guys, so I'm going to be using my little Mora because um, I find this is best for a small thing like this. And just, just to explain I suppose a little bit more about why. So here is my, my bigger Mora, this is my Mora Clipper. Um, and you absolutely, you can carve with this no problem at all. But you do have a very long blade here. Um, and really for something this kind of size, you're only really using kind of the tip, maybe the first sort of inch or two. Um, and you're kind of wasting the rest of this big piece of the blade. But you're not having to take sort of big cuts like this because you lose all of your fine control. Um, and that's really what this knife for me is all about. It's a, it's a very, very good fine control knife. Um, and mostly I'm going to be using this with uh, pressure from the back of my thumb. So the idea being is you kind of put it here and you're just pushing it with the back of your thumb, maybe sort of you know, levering it a little bit with your hand and just guiding it and putting a bit of force on it with the back of your thumb. Um, now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bore you with all of this because it's, it's going to be very repetitive. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I just kind of smooth down and refine down this bowl a little bit. So I think I'll do a bit of footage in between and I'll just give you a few shots of this carving process. But just so you can get a nice close up of this uh, this little cookser, you can see all of these tool marks, all of these flat spots and these little sort of corners that come in here and there. Um, and what I'm looking to do is just really smooth this down and um, try and get this kind of rim here a little bit more uniform. Now it's quite thick um, I'm not going to take it down too much, uh, but what I'd like to be able to do sort of come the end is just kind of like round down the outside, round off the inside so they kind of meet and then when we sand it it'll be a nice smooth continuing curve. Um, so as I say I'm just going to make a start here, you know I'm not doing anything um, particularly unusual for anyone that's used to carving and if you are new to it you know this is the kind of thing that you want to be doing you're not trying to take off great big chunks at this point point. Um, really all you're doing is smoothing things down um, and as I say if you don't have a small carving knife like this you can use um, things like a mora um, and again you know you've got my little Svante Darge here which I haven't used a great deal on camera recently um, but you know you can use this just as well but you are taking off just these really small 
shavings you know all you're doing is let's have a final example so just here hopefully you can see on the camera sorry about the planes guys um, you've got a bit of a line here which sort of forms a corner between two flat spots and what we're doing is we're just taking away those corners and generally smoothing it down um, so hopefully you can see there just that couple of seconds work giving me a nice smooth patch you know obviously we need to do this all over um, and as I say I much prefer this smaller knife for this so I will carry on for probably probably take me about 20-30 minutes I suppose to go all the way around this bowl and start smoothing these things out um, now as I said in the past you know I've left this for probably longer than I normally would um, and you are starting to get this kind of almost punky feel in there I mean it's perfectly solid it's not leaving an indentation when I hit it with my uh, push my thumbnail in there um, so it's perfectly good perfectly salvageable but I probably don't want to let it get any worse than this. Um, so I'm going to carry on. I'll move the camera around a few times and just give you a few shots of this kind of in progress. And I'll come back once we've got this uh, a little bit closer to where I want it to be. Right then guys, that's pretty much it for today. I'll give you a quick close up of this. Um, so basically we've tidied up most of those tool marks. You know, it was much, much smoother around the outside of the bowl than it was before. Um, and that's where I'm gonna leave it for today. And really there's only two more things we need to do now. Um, one is to sort out this handle and I need to have a bit of a think between now and the next episode where I want to go with that. I've left it deliberately large um, so I've got plenty of options. Um, we need to finish off the inside of the bowl and we also need to sand it. Um, now I haven't decided yet if I'm going to try sanding this first before I move on to the handle just so I can get a bit of a better feel what the final thing will look like. Um, or if I do the handle and then come to the sanding. Uh, but either way, I mean, that, that's basically what we've got left. Um, I do have a little idea on the sanding that I will share with you when we get round to it. Um, as you know, I hate sanding. Um, now I do have a sort of a handheld belt sander and I'm gonna see if I can maybe sort of rig it up to, um, to work almost like a bench sander. Um, and I'll, I'll give that a try before the, the episode when I do it just to see if that's going to work and I'll share it with you guys. Um, so that's it for today. This one I haven't obviously touched and I will get this one um, to the same condition as this ready for the next episode. Um, but that's it guys. So I hope it was useful. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.